Library of Adventure, featuring the great adventures of yesterday, dramatized for the boys and girls of today. Michael Strogoff, Courier of the Tsar. Chapter 19 of the story adapted from the novel by Jules Verne. By the ingenious use of leathern bottles to support the kibitka, Michael, Nadia and Nicholas launched their strange craft upon the turbulent waters of the river Yanisi. Since their meeting with Nicholas Pigasov, fate had seemed to be with them. But suddenly, as they struggled across the river, the blind Michael realized that they were in imminent danger. The horse, now failing in strength, was unable to swim clear of a whirlpool, and rapidly the frail craft surged nearer and nearer to the center of the eddy. In a moment, Michael had thrown off his coat and dived into the surging waters. Gripping the bridle, he urged the terrified animal towards safety. And now was begun a desperate fight for the lives of all. Michael! Michael! Why do you want to scream? Paddle! Oh, he's going on his hand! Be off! Be off! Hold him there, Nicholas! We are making way! Another ten yards and we're safe! Be off! Be off! Nadia, are you all right, Nicholas? I'm all right now, thank you, Michael. Uh, it was a brave thing to do, my friend. I could not have done it. Can you see the road to Irkutsk? We're not more than a mile downstream, I think. Uh, if we rest for an hour, my horse will soon take us there. Well, we've crossed the Yanisi. It was difficult enough for us. Perhaps it will prove impossible to the Tatars. Perhaps. Yeah, it will be a pleasant journey to Irkutsk. The road is good and there are many shady groves along the way. We have ample provisions. The villages we pass will be deserted. No matter. We will reach Akutsk. The lights, Rabinsk, Kamsk, all deserted. Uh, it's strange to ride through the towns. No people, no animals. Not even a stray cat. How far to Irkutsk now, Michael? About 350 miles, I think. In 10 or 12 days, we shall be there. Yeah, it'll bring great joy to your father. He'll listen amazed to the story of your travels. <laughs> I had not expected such a journey when I left the telegraph office at Kolivan. There is nothing to prevent us reaching home safely. There's been no sign of the Tata vanguard. Oh, heaven be praised. What time of the day is it? Three in the afternoon, Michael. We'll be making a halt soon. Yeah, the small group of... Ah! Oh, Nicholas, what is it? Did you not see? Oh, but what? A hare. Not 30 feet in front of us. It ran across the road. That is a superstition, friend. No harm will come to you. No, a hare has crossed my path. That is an evil omen. There is danger ahead. There is nothing to fear. Nothing for you, nor for your sister. But for me, it is my fate. Drive on. Your fate is linked with ours. No harm will come to you. Nadia, can you see Nizhny Udinsk? We must be almost in sight of the town. There are several tall steeples which are visible from two miles. Nothing yet, Michael. I will tell you as soon as I see Whoa, them. there. Why are we stopping? My horse shied at something by the roadside. I cannot see what it is. <laughs> no, quiet, Sergio. Brother. It is a dead man. An old mooch. Oh. Wait. He is dead, you say? How long? Oh, the body is cold. Yes, this one has been dead for some time. He is mutilated. The Tartars? Oh, it is their work, undoubtedly. Come, friend. We must hurry on with it. the body? Can we not bury it? No, we haven't the time. Somehow the Tartars have outdistanced us. Or more likely, a fresh column is marching to besiege Irkutsk. It will be dangerous. It will. But I must reach Irkutsk, friend. Look, 
Duke, Nicholas. The steeples of Nijni Odin. Yes, and the city is on fire. Those are not clouds. Can you see the reflection of the fires? Yes. Oh, we are almost up with the Tartars, brother. The bodies strewn along the road. We are not an hour behind them. Do we go on? Yes. Down on the road, quickly! My horse! My horse! Oh, they've killed my horse. They've killed him. Shut his mouth. I... No, let me go. You, you, you killed my horse. Ah. Ah. Don't try to escape. Let them take his prisoner. But Nicholas, they have, he is lying on the ground. Courage. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> Russians. Yes, we are Russians. Now, you speak that Tatar language, eh? Yes. You might be useful to us then. And you? This girl is my sister. We were traveling to Irkutsk. Sir, my brother is blind. What did he say? My sister is trying to tell you that I am blind. Blind? <laughs> Good. The less you see, the better. You there, tie this man to your stirrup. He can run alongside you to a dense... Michael, what are they going to do? I am to be tied to this fellow's stirrup. Oh, but if you should fall... Oh, Michael... I shall not fall... And I shall run all the way to where Kutsk if need be. Courage, Nadia. I'll take the girl. Are you ready? What about this one here? Leave him. Two prisoners are enough. Ride! to watch when you fell in the street and they dragged you by the wrists. I thought you'd be killed. No. They will not kill me. I shall... I shall reach Akutsk. But why have they thrown us in here? They think... They think that I will be useful to them as an interpreter. We're safe for the moment. Oh, let me look at your wounds. I'm not badly hurt. A few cuts and bruises, they're nothing. What is this room? Oh, part of an old house, I think. It's a dirty room. There are no windows. The only entrance is the door. It was locked and bolted after you came in. Uh, uh, I feel better. The last few hundred yards were the worst. But that is over now. Michael, did you hear anything? How did the Tartars come to be here? We thought we'd left them beyond the Yenisi. From scraps of conversation I overheard, it seems that the detachment which captured us is part of a third column not under the direct orders of the Emir. They've sent troops to provide a bridge for the Emir across the Yenisi. The rest of them are making for Akutsk, about 50,000. How will the Russians in Akutsk hold off such an army and all the thousands under the Emir's command when they come? Help will arrive sooner or later. If Akutsk can hold out... Nadia, I must escape from this prison soon. Oh, but how? Listen. <laughs> that is how we'll escape. Tonight the Tartars will be drunk with victory. Their men will be intoxicated. Then our chance will come. Thank you. Are we to be left in this stinking room all night? Mm, do you expect the Tsar's palace? <laughs> Perhaps someday you might be a prisoner there. You and your pretty sister. Pretty's the word, isn't it? Maybe she'd like to dance for us. I'm a little pigeon. Oh, okay. oh coming. Well, we'll talk about that later. Nothing to escape. I'll be back before midnight. Tell your sister what I said, blind man. Oh, oh Michael. What are they going to do? I saw the way he looked at Shh, me. Nadia, 
There's no danger. I won't let them touch you. But listen, tonight when the guard comes, we must escape. It'll be our only chance. He'll be half intoxicated with Kumis. Will it come to violence? I've played the coward from the moment I left Moscow. But now I shall play the man. I am a soldier, Nadia. If there is no other way, I must... I must kill. My mission is far more important than my life. It is immeasurably more important than the lives of my country's enemies. Tonight, when the guard comes, I shall be standing beside you. Lure the guard towards us. When you say the word, I shall strike. I shall do it. I trust you, Nadia. Get him within arm's length and I'll do the rest. It'll be quick, merciful. Can you do it? I have said. Show me where I must stand. And then we'll rest until he comes. This is our only chance. Pray that he comes alone. Nadia, wake up. He's coming. I was not asleep. Stand there beside me. Are you afraid? No, I am glad. Glad. Ah, you're waiting up for me, eh? Well, you won't have long to wait, eh, little one? You'll dance for us tonight, little pigeon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now there's a... Now, Michael! There, Nadia, it is done. Come, lead the way. Hey, hey, bring the girl. Now or never, Nadia, lead the way and run. Hey, there, stop, stop. Michael has successfully completed the first part of his desperate plan to escape. But if they're discovered, what then? Can they break through the Tartar guards and all the troops camped in the city of Udinsk? Listen again when next we present Michael Strogoff, courier of the Tsar.